Hello guys, today I'm going to discuss about how to build and deploy Spring Boot with MySQL application in the Docker container as well as I'm going to use Docker Compose by using this YAML file. So these are the two approaches I'm going to discuss in this video. Okay, so to work with this we need to get it MySQL image from the Docker Hub. Docker full MySQL. So I'm going to get it this 5.7 version. It will take a couple of minutes. So in the meantime, I'm going to explain this Spring Boot application. Okay, to work with this, we need three dependencies that is Spring Boot Starter Data JPA and Spring Boot Starter Web and MySQL Connector Java to connect to this MySQL database from this Spring Boot application. And we need a entity. So that entity should be annotated with this entity and table. Okay, and we need a repository that should be extends JPA repository. And we need a controller. So in this controller, we have to define some methods. So here I have defined like some CRUD operations related methods add user so get users and find user and delete users methods and application.aml file we have to add properties related to this data source so driver class name so mysql driver and the urls in the url we have to define the host name that host name should match with mysql container name and the port number i have mentioned this is 3306 this is the default port number and the name of the Database is test and the username and the password few DDL properties Okay, so now I'm going to create the image for the Spring Boot application Okay, Docker will minus Spring Boot MySQL So 1.0 current and this root directory So it will take a couple of seconds and after that I'm going to Create the containers for this both MySQL and Spring Boot applications. Okay, let me clear this. Let me check this whether created or not. So MySQL and Spring Boot MySQL images are ready now. So, so now what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to create the container for this MySQL, and after that I'm going to attach this MySQL to the Spring Boot container. So, so without attaching this mysql container to this spring boot container so is it possible to run this containers and they can communicate with each other yes is it possible so there is a concept in the docker that is docker networking so basically uh, docker networking allows you to attach the container to as many containers as you like okay docker takes care of the networking aspects so that the containers can communicate with the other containers and also with the docker host that is the main benefit of the docker host so let me check the docker networks available in this okay these are the networks are available in the docker host so, so now i am going to create one network network Okay, uh, network create. So I'm going to take user MySQL. Okay, so it's created. Let's check this. See, user MySQL is created. Now I'm going to make use of this. So, Docker, run. I'm going to create the container for this MySQL application. MySQL standalone. This name should match with our database host name. Okay, and so this network network user MySQL right. Now we have to provide this environment MySQL environment properties. That is like MySQL root password, MySQL database, MySQL user, and MySQL password. After that, we have to provide the image name. So that is MySQL. 5.7 okay let's hit enter oh, something went wrong one second twice yeah so docker ps so mysql container has been created successfully let me clear this now so i'm going to create so spring boot container so Port zero zero. I'm going to map to this. So I'm going to give the name Spring Boot 
mysql okay and so we have to provide the network here also without linking network user mysql okay finally it should start in the detached mode and image name spring boot mysql 1.0 okay let's hit enter so let's check this it's created so let me check the logs of this spring boot container so let me copy this container paste here so it started successfully so let me check so we are getting white label error so that is yeah it's working see so we are getting empty response here okay so that's mean it's working fine so let me add one record so version this post now okay so this is the one of those guys so so let me open uh, mysql shell so we have a command worker, sorry execute uh, integrated terminal okay the container id on certain docker ps docker execute terminal integrate terminal okay and this is the container id guys so let me copy this and paste here so, so bin dash okay so docker execute t extra t is there okay so mysql so username test user and password so test user okay so so let me check the databases okay use test database so our database is test base show tables in the test database so we have a user so select star from user so we don't have any data in the user table okay so let me add one record now so our endpoint is so add user okay in the body i'm adding name and country okay let me post this so user added successfully so let's check the database so data has been inserted successfully in the user table okay so this is how the first approach will work guys so the second approach so i'm going to attach in manually okay my school container with this spring boot container okay so to do this i'm going to change this host name so this is second approach so let me build this so now i have to build one more remote so docker build okay, t spring boot mysql mysql1 i'm going to take mysql1 1.0 and connect directly okay so yeah let's hit enter now so i'm going to to here so docker images so my skill spring boot my skill one has built so i'm going to create the container okay so that my skill container name should match with the host name right i have changed that host name okay my scale standalone one and same environment properties and sorry guys so i don't want to use network here so okay let's 
let's hit enter so it is created docker ps see here this mysql standalone one container has been created now so i'm going to create the container for this spring boot application so now i'm going to link this so instead of network what i'm trying to do here is i'm going to link manually link spring boot sorry what is the container name mysql standalone one right mysql standalone one okay and the image name is mysql one spring boot mysql one so docker run same the port number yeah we have to change the port number also so already this port number has bound so let me take 8081 and the name of this container is spring boot mysql one and linking with mysql standalone container and the image name is spring boot mysql one okay that's it so docker yes so let me check the logs docker logs minus f so let me copy this container id paste here so it is started guys let me check so with 801 port so it's working fine so let me add one record 801 same in point but port number is different user added successfully so let me check here see we got the response so it's working fine so the final approach is so i'm going to make use of yaml file so i'm going to use the docker compose here so to do this we need to create one docker compose yaml file uh, so let me create yaml file docker compose dot yaml file okay so we have to mention the version okay and we have to uh, provide the two services here okay um, services so i'm going to take my scale stand alone with one okay so this is the name of the our host name okay so let me take one more space and we have to provide the image name so image name is mysql mysql 5.7 and after that we have to provide the environment okay so in the environment we have to provide that properties so let me copy from here so we already have let me copy this properties and paste here paste here okay so this won't take much time guys so please bear with me five minutes so i will try to complete okay so environment properties are ready now so i have to uh, provide the spring boot container here so spring uh, i'm going to take spring boot yeah, docker container so so we have to provide the image name image name Spring Boot um, Yeah, let me take the same name Spring Boot Docker Container, okay And we have to provide the ports So So 8080 and 801 is already in use So I am going to take 8082 
So I will use depends on. So either you can use link or uh, depends on. So I am making use of depends on here. Okay, let me copy this. Let's paste here. Okay. So it's throwing some. Error Spring Boot, Docker Container. Compatible errors is gone, so let me clear this console. So only one command that is Docker compose up. Okay. So now it's creating the image. Okay. Once the image is built, now it's going to create the two containers. One is MySQL container, another one is Spring Boot container. So automatically these containers are created by using this Docker compose. So we don't have to bother about anything. So we don't have to manually type anything here so it will take care of everything automatically so so these are the three approaches fine so i will recap so what i did so first one like i have created one docker network user my scale and i make i'm i i used this user my scale okay so in my MySQL container, the same Docker network, I have created the Spring Boot container without linking that MySQL container. So automatically these two containers will communicate with each other in the net same network. Okay, the second approach I have linked manually Spring Boot, Spring Boot container with MySQL container. So that is the second approach. The third approach is I have used this Docker Compose. Okay, so this Docker Compose will create all the images on the containers required by your application so you have to define whatever you required in this file docker compass file that's it so i think it is started let me check so 8082 so let it enter so we're getting white label error right yeah so let me go to this postman Take it zero eight two add user. Take me save me okay. Take the same request and okay. User added successfully. Now let me check here. Users. So we are got the response. Okay. So this is how this three approaches will work, friends. Okay, so if you have like any other approach, so please let me know in the comment section. So I will try to learn friends. So if you find any difficulty to try to implement this approaches in your system, so please let me know in the comment section. So I will try to help you guys. Okay, I hope you guys are enjoyed my video. So if you like my video, so please do like my video and subscribe my channel because I'm going to prepare uh spring boot with mysql application and the kubernetes in the next session so so please don't miss uh, kubernetes guys because very very important spring boot uh, with mysql and the kubernetes is very very important so that is the reason i'm asking you okay so thanks thanks for watching you thanks for watching guys bye